So yeah guys, we're here with the Steel MS-170. I got gifted this saw when it wasn't starting. And I'm going to take you through the steps I went through. I changed the spark plug, changed the air filter, changed the gas, it still wasn't starting. Then I pulled the fuel line going from the carburetor to the tank. And I noticed there was only a tiny bit of fuel flowing when I would turn the saw upside down. So gravity would be pulling the fuel through that line. And what I came to find out was I took compressed air, blew it through the line, and all of a sudden a bunch of fuel came out and it was flowing freely. So that line is the line between the tank and the car. Here, this line, there's a fuel line that runs right there. Can't really see it, but that runs from the tank, from the tank right here, up and into the carb. Mine was clogged between the tank and the carb. So I pulled this line off, sprayed it out with compressed air and shot fuel. It shot fuel out super, super far. So take that line off, either spray mass airflow sensor, brake cleaner, whatever you got to just check to make sure that line's free. When you pull it off, the fuel should be running out of there. If you tilt the saw, it should run out clean. If you've got spark, you got clean fuel in the tank, you have compression, check to make sure you don't have blocked fuel lines. So the three things you need to make sure you have to get a, a saw to start is spark, good spark. I recommend always changing spark plugs, they're cheap, and you need to always have spares with the two-stroke. Make sure you're getting air through a clean air filter. Check to make sure you're getting spark by just grounding it out and make sure you're getting fuel and clean fuel. Do not be trying to troubleshoot a saw with a tank full of old fuel. Dump it all out, crank it a bunch with the saw off to clear out whatever fuel's left. Fill it up with fresh gas, fresh premix gas, and go from there. And I'm gonna kinda take you through a quick walkthrough, but I would highly suggest taking that line off, blowing out with a brake clean or whatever you can to really check to make sure that that flow's good. It's gonna start up. That. It's clean on mine because I know it is, but take it off, spray it out with brake cleaner or whatever, check to make sure it's clean. Put it back in. 